All right, guys, so I have sitting here before me two fragrances that have been getting lots of attention on YouTube and on social media, and they are two perfumes that are very similar to each other. They have nuances that make them similar, and I've seen a lot of people compare the two and say that they are sort of almost dupes for one another, or, you know, if you have one, you don't need the other, and even reading on Fragrantica about either of these fragrances, a lot of people will say if you have one, you don't need the other, and how close they are. So I'm here to tell you my personal thoughts on them, the difference that I pick up on them, whether or not I do think that they're dupes or like interchangeable, whether or not I think it's true that if you have one, you don't need to try the other and which one I like better overall. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So first we have this 125 ml bottle of Baby Cat from Yves Saint Laurent, uh, which I got from Holt Renfrew here in Canada. I'm very lucky and grateful that I can get this in Canada because a lot of times it's the opposite way around and things that are readily available in the US or the UK are difficult to get in Canada. And oftentimes we get the crap end of the stick. We get things last or not at all, or it's like very, very difficult to get things. So I recognize that I am really lucky lucky to be able to get my hands on this and actually I think I told you guys in another video I was surprised at how easy it was to get it um, and it makes me sad for you guys who have a hard time getting your hands on it because this fragrance I've told you is one of my favorite fragrances I've ever smelled in my life um, and it's one of my best blind purchases and it's one of my best purchases in general and this is a top 10 for life for me it has just skyrocketed to the top of my list in terms of fragrances i love i'm absolutely obsessed with it it's intoxicating but i feel bad for people who can't get it because it's incredible and um i don't want people to think that if you can't get baby cat you can just get Rosendo number five because it's pretty much the same because in my opinion, it's not the same. There's a lot of differences and I'll just tell you right now, I do prefer Baby Cat. Um, so this is Baby Cat and this is my little my little five mil decant that I have of the Rosendo Mateo, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure how you say it. Rosendo number five, floral amber and sensual musk. If you guys are wondering, I got this from Sense Gift. I purchased it myself. Um, Sense Gift, I've actually worked with them before, but they are really, really a good option for if you want to get these nice sized decants of perfumes so that you can like try them without having to commit to a full bottle. And they come in lots of different sizes. They have like two mil, five mil, 10 mil, and I think even 15 mil, like you can get really good, um, they have a really good range of sizes. And I definitely wanted to try this one because I wanted to see how close is it really to Baby Cat? And did I also need this one? Like, is this one I would also love? So before I tell you about the notes and spray them, you guys, I just wanna say that it really surprises me how these perfumes are considered to be so similar to one another and how to some people's noses there isn't much of a difference because not only to me do they smell very, very different, um, they do have some similarities for sure, but they're also categorized as completely different fragrances. So Baby Cat is categorized as a vanilla, spicy, leather, warm, ambery fragrance. Rosendo number no. five is categorized as a floral amber vanilla. So it's more about the floral component and not so much about the, the vanilla is a little further down on the list. Whereas with Baby Cat, the vanilla is much higher on the list. So that for me already, puts it higher on the list because I am a vanilla fanatic. I love vanilla dominant perfumes and I especially love an artistic, beautiful, unique take on a vanilla. And like I've told you guys in some of my other videos, one of my absolute favorite categories of fragrances is a warm, spicy, ambery, woody vanilla. A little bit of booziness sometimes, a little bit more spice sometimes, a little bit of a fresh spicy, some floral components, but Basically, if you give me vanilla, I'm pretty much gonna be happy. So let's spend a moment talking about Baby Cat. I'll go through the notes and tell you what it smells like, and then we'll go through Rosendo. So Baby Cat has notes of black and pink pepper, elemi, olibanum, saffron, bourbon vanilla, suede, and cedar. This fragrance, you guys, is, wow. One of the most beautiful fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. So for those of you who don't know, olibanum and frankincense are the same thing. So if you don't see the word incense in the notes or you don't see the word frankincense in the notes, it is there in um, the form of that olibanum. There is also a lot of pepper in here, but more so in the opening. And I suspect that a lot of people who tested this and didn't like it probably only smelled the opening or put it on paper and then made their decision and walked away. This was one that, although I found it to be beautiful in the opening, um, although very heavy in that sort of peppery incense accord, when this dried down, you guys, 
this just changes and becomes so incredible. It becomes all about that vanilla. You still do have a little bit of an incensey and a little bit of spice that kind of follows it through. You also get this really soft, like subtle leathery suede accord. And in my opinion, it smells very feminine. I think it's unisex leaning feminine. And I just think it is incredibly beautiful and intoxicating and super, super sexy and classy and addictive. Performance is not an issue with this at all. It lasts forever and it has a really nice sillage and it performs really well in cold weather. I haven't tried it in warm weather yet because I just got it. At the atomizer, it does smell a lot more like frankincense. And yes, the opening is very peppery and incensey. And I think that's where some people are turned off and they smell that opening and they walk away because it's not their thing. This is one, again, along with so many others that changes a lot as it dries down. And ultimately you have to remember that what you are left with in a perfume is the dry down. It doesn't take long for it to dry down and that's what you're left with. So you should never judge a perfume by its opening because it can often change and sometimes that just makes all the difference in a perfume. In fact, a lot of times it makes the difference. This is one of the most incredible, incredible fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. It's beautiful, it's smooth. You get a whole bunch of a peppery sort of incense in the opening, but you also get that vanilla. And as it starts to dry down, the vanilla shines through and it becomes this incredibly addictive, smooth, leathery vanilla with a little bit of incense lingering through in the background. It's so addictive, you guys. And I'm a person who likes to smell more feminine. I'm a person who up until recently didn't really like challenging perfumes. I don't like to be super challenged. Is this incredibly unique? No, there's more like it on the market. Is it super challenging? No, not really. I think it's very likable. Oh, you guys, I am in love with this perfume. So scent for me is a 10 out of 10. Longevity for me is great. Performance is great. The way I feel when I wear it is great. 10 out of 10, nothing I don't like about this perfume. I think it is a masterpiece and I'm really sad that people can't get it in the US. And I've also heard that it's discontinued already. I really hope that that's not true because if it is, this one is backup bottle worthy. Um, and I don't have many backup bottles of many perfumes. I only get backup bottles if I'm either worried they're gonna reformulate it or if I'm so in love with it and it's discontinued that I need another bottle. Not very many perfumes will I do that for. Usually I just cut my losses and move on, but this is one that I don't wanna be without. So enter Rosendo number five. So this one, you guys, has notes of spices, exotic floral notes, carnation, lily of the valley, amber, vanilla, and musk. And this one, okay, so sometimes I smell it and it's okay. Other times I smell it and I absolutely cannot stand it and it turns my stomach. I have tried this both on paper as well as on skin because again, I know how different perfumes can be on skin compared to on paper. This one is quite different from Baby Cat. It does smell similar, especially in the opening. It almost smells like there is a little bit of an incense -y quality in here and I'm not sure what is giving it that because there's no incense listed in the notes. It must be coming um, as a result of the combination of spices, the carnation, maybe the floral notes, maybe the amber, but something in here is giving a little bit of an incense-y feel to it. However, I've seen other people mention this before and I saw it in the reviews. What I get when I first spray this is straight up burnt rubber, like melted burning rubber. That is what I get when I first spray it. Maybe it's part of the artistry. I would say this one is definitely more challenging than baby cat. So maybe it's meant to smell like that. Obviously it's meant to smell like what it smells like, but to me, what it smells like is if they were in a factory and they were cooking up a batch, not cooking up a batch, making a batch of a fragrance that had a similar scent profile to baby cat, you know, the vanilla, the spicy, and then somebody dumped by accident, a huge barrel of melting, burning rubber into the liquid and it got bottled like that and that's what it smells like to me. So I find this one quite challenging for me. Baby Cat challenged me a little bit in the beginning because of the overdose of incense and pepper that there was, but this one challenges me because of that burnt rubber note that I get. I will say that that burnt rubber accord that's in here doesn't last throughout the entire duration of the fragrance. After it dries down, it does become a little bit more sweet, a little bit more vanillic, and that sort of burnt rubberness does dissipate a little bit. And then I prefer it a lot more. It's almost to the point once it dries down that I kind of like it. And I do see why it's hyped up. I do see why people like it. People don't just 
hype this up because it reminds them of baby cat. They love this perfume in general. This is on a lot of people's top 10 for life perfumes. And I can see why I can understand why. So on one hand, when I smell it, I get a beautifully unique floral kind of a spicy incense-y fragrance that I've never smelled anything like before. I will say this smells very unique. I've never smelled anything quite like it before, although it does remind me just a little bit of Baby Cat, and Baby Cat reminds me a little of this. Other than that, I would say this is incredibly unique. It's also quite sweet. This is sweeter than Baby Cat, but it's less dominant in the vanilla than Baby Cat is. But you guys, I can't Unless one day, five months down the road or a year down the road, I try this and something switches or my nose changes, I can't get past the rubberiness of this, the burnt rubber feeling that I get. It smells very chemical to me and it actually just makes me make a like a, like a sick face, like a disgusted face. Like I just don't like the way that it smells. Whereas none of that is apparent in baby cat. Baby cat, yes, it has incense, but it's like a smooth, peppery, vanillic, leathery incense. It's intoxicating and sexy, and it just smells like incense. It just smells like a note in a fragrance that you either like or you don't. This, on the other hand, really resembles burning rubber to me, and I don't like that. So very different feelings, very different sensations. I will say that once this dries down, it does get better both on paper and on skin. Yeah, I, I can't, this is a perfume that I can't tell if I like or don't like. You know what I mean? Let me know if you've tried this and had a similar experience or if you know what I mean, but with this one, I can't tell if I like it or don't like it. You know when you smell something and it smells kind of off-putting and strong and it almost makes your breath stop in its tracks, like you kind of catch your breath in your throat and you you like don't, you can't breathe in anymore. Like you don't want to breathe in anymore. That's what it does to me. Um, it just, it, it just catches my breath in my throat and it kind of makes me go, Oh, like, what is that? You know, it's that kind of feeling that I get from this fragrance. Whereas baby cat is a scent. I just want to keep smelling. It's an addictive, beautiful, <laughs> vanilla that I want to keep smelling. So it's two different reactions, two visceral reactions. One where I just feel like I'm in perfume heaven and the other where I just kind of don't want to breathe it in. <laughs> so very different reactions for me and very different feelings for me. Longevity wise, I have tested the Rosendo on my skin. And of course I've tested the baby cat on my skin. And in my opinion, baby cat performs just a little bit better. It's a stronger perfume. It's a little bit bolder. The projection is a little bit stronger. Rosendo doesn't have bad performance either, but in my opinion, I do think that baby cat has an edge over the Rosendo in terms of the performance. They do have a similarity. Like I said, the frankincense that's in baby cat, the frankincense and pepperiness that's in baby cat is what is resembling that sort of medicinal quality that's in Rosendo. The medicinal sort of burnt rubber quality. I think that that's where people are getting that comparison. They're both vanilla. They both have a similar sort of opening, but in the case of baby cat, it is the frankincense. And in the case of the Rosendo, it is this strange synthetic chemically burnt rubber thing that almost smells like frankincense, but not quite. And so for me, that's where the difference is. Personally, you guys, I do not like the Rosendo. I can't wear it. Like I said, if something changes in the future and my nose changes, or I don't know, maybe there's something about the Rosendo I'm just not appreciating. Maybe there's just something about it that, that I'm just not appreciating. Like I said, sometimes I think I like it and then the next minute I don't like it. So it really plays games with me and I find it challenging. But I can also see how it would be sort of addictive. I can see why people would really like it. It does have facets about it that I really do like. It's quite sensual, mysterious, it's sexy. Yeah, I can see why people hype this up. I can see why people love it. And like I said, sometimes I think I really like it. And then the next minute I'm back to getting that burnt rubber smell that turns me off. I wish I didn't. I know that not everybody gets that, but if you look on Fragrantica, um, you will see it's almost like split down the middle of people who say this is a top 10 for life and people who say they can't do the burnt rubber. It's almost like it's very polarizing. I guess it's a very polarizing scent. Whereas baby cat 
for some reason seems to get like 99% rave reviews. I haven't seen a person talk about Baby Cat who didn't like it. So yeah, so that's what you need to know, I guess. Very polarizing, similarities, but not the same. And in my personal opinion, Baby Cat is way, way better. I wanted to make this video for you guys because I don't want people out there to feel bad that they can't get Baby Cat or wish they could get Baby Cat and then settle for Rosendo because they see reviews and people say Rosendo smells pretty much the same because I think that's just such a huge disservice to settle for a perfume having not smelled the other one and you know what I mean to buy the Rosendo number no. five hoping that you know it's it's similar enough to Baby Cat you hear that they're pretty much the same thing you hear that they smell so similar in my opinion they are different and it is worth smelling both of them. It is worth trying both of them. Yeah, I, you guys, this perfume does something to me that I can't even explain. That's how much I love it. It is so intoxicating and gorgeous and it just does not disappoint. It's just so good and I love it so much. I guess I just don't want people to think that they can get Rosendo number no. five and it's good enough and they don't have to try Baby Cat. If you can get your hands on it, if you have a connection or you have somebody who can buy it for you and ship it to you, or if you live near the border or you're planning to come to Canada for some reason, it is worth getting your nose on, especially if it's going to be discontinued. I just think it's absolutely stunning. One of my favorite perfumes of the year, probably of all time. So those are my thoughts on Baby Cat versus Rosendo number no. five.